I tell you, gentlemen, science is agreed. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Johnny, there's a lot of conspiracy theories out there, uh, but what the hell is harp? Harp, Johnny? Well, harp is this big bloody array of antennae spread over the ground up there in bloody Alaska somewhere, out in the middle of nowhere, of course. Jesus Christ! And harp stands for this. Harp stands for High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program. It is a research program that involves a complex of antennas and transmitter facilities located in Gakona, Alaska. The primary purpose of HARP is to study the ionosphere, which is the layer of the Earth's atmosphere that extends from about 50 to 600 kilometers above the surface. But Johnny, what is, what's a conspiracy about this bloody joint? Out in the middle of nowhere sits a forest of antennae, causing earthquakes and tsunamis, unimaginable chaos and ruin. Or so the conspiracy theory goes. Yeah, now the US Air Force, it was run on harp, which makes me bloody suspicious in the first place. It was run on harp for bloody decades. Yes, yes of course. And the US Air Force, it just doesn't fuck around with uh, experimenting with the weather just to be good guys. They were experimenting with the weather to use it as a bloody weapon. The HARP facility has been used in collaboration with other research facilities to conduct experiments on ionospheric heating, plasma physics and space weather. Uh, the ionosphere? What the hell do they want to do all this? What's the good of studying the ionosphere? Some people have associated HARP with conspiracy theories involving weather modification, mind control and earthquakes. But there is no scientific evidence to support these claims. Because ah! what used to be a conspiracy theory 20 years ago, 10 years ago, is conspiracy truth today. But Johnny, you didn't some bloke who used to work down in the Antarctic? Didn't he say there was some bloody big array down there too that was used, or well, was going to be used as a weapon? I had complete access to every compartment they manufactured. What are you blowing the whistle on? That there are technologies at the South Pole Station that people can't even consider that exist on this planet. Directed energy weapon systems is something that people need to get in their vocabulary fast. The Ice Cube Neutrino Detector is not simply a passive listening device as presented for the science that they're claiming it to do. It also has the capacity to transmit. There are embedded in the ice what are called digital optical modules Bombs. They're about the size of a basketball. The array embedded in the ice is one kilometer by one kilometer by one kilometer. It is the world's largest telescope. And now because we have proven that it can transmit, it's the world's largest directed energy weapon system. It is responsible for the earthquakes in Christchurch, New Zealand. I f <laughs> what? The COP27 summit is underway in Egypt as leaders uh, get together to discuss climate change. We'll be discussing uh, conspiracy theories, of course, on uh, climate change, notably the HARP conspiracy theory, where there are many who believe uh, that climate change is due to HARP, uh, not global warming. Uh, so HARP would be this uh, ultra-secret uh, uh, climate-controlling weapon supposedly belonging to the U.S. Army that alleged that you know what else is causing extreme weather events. HARP and geoengineering, which go hand in hand, uh, weather modifications. Uh, there's one tweet, one that right there from uh, the the WHO. There's also these uh, TikToks. Uh, this user in French claiming that uh, the actual temperatures right now aren't real. Do your research on HARP. Or this video right here of this user from October, so pretty recent as well, uh, as conspiracy theorists claim that HARP is a weather modification, uh, ultra secret research program of. Uh, the U.S. government, Mark. Yeah, and it involves shooting a bloody trillion watt, yes, trillion watt laser up into the ionosphere and exciting the bloody ionosphere, and they bloody sit around and see what happens. A trillion watt laser? How's that for a scientific experiment? That, that's just my observation, and I'm no scientist. Mm. Do they use these things? Uh, and they call you crazy. You're crazy if you think there's any use of lasers, you know, within our military against people. This was aired nine years ago today. Take a look at this. 
Lasers? Really? To change the weather? That's right. Well, as Mark Twain once famously said, everyone complains about the weather, but no one ever does anything about it. Well, instead of doing a rain dance, we physicists are firing trillion watt lasers into the sky to actually precipitate rain clouds and actually bring down lightning bolts. Holy shit! I mean, we here at the Ask Johnny Channel, we've been bloody skeptical about that sort of shit for quite some time. But there seems to be mounting evidence, especially bloody admissions from the bloody US government, that that sort of shit might be taking place. Conspiracy theorists have linked the Harp project to earthquakes and tsunamis all over the globe. Calamities blamed on Harp by conspiracy theorists include the Haiti earthquake, which struck on 12th January 2010. The Japan earthquake and tsunami of March 2011 have also been linked to HARP. Transmit, it's the world's largest directed energy weapons system. It is responsible for the earthquakes in Christchurch, New Zealand. I... <laughs> Chile earthquake and tsunami of February 2010 were also caused by HARP. A massive landslide in Philippines in 2006 has also been linked to HARP. These conspiracy theories are not limited to some sections of the internet. Even some world leaders have openly propagated these claims. So Johnny, where does all this bloody bullshit leave us? That we've been lied to, we don't know what to bloody believe anymore. I don't know whether that's bloody true or what. But something's bloody going on, obviously something's been going on, they're fucking around with the weather, and that's a bloody fact.